to Android Evening. Today we are going to discuss on one pointage stoichiometry where at the end of this topic students should be able to write a balanced chemical equation by inspection method, redox equation by ion electron method, then you are going to define limiting reactant and the percentage yield and you are going to perform stoichiometric calculation using more concept including limiting reactant and the percentage yield okay now we are going to look at how we are going to balance a chemical equation um so when we are discuss on the chemical reaction it shows a chemical reaction using a symbol for the reactant and the product a chemical reaction of course it will have reactant and the product where we use the symbols of a compound okay the formula of the reactant are written on the left side of the equation while the product on the right side okay as usual reactant left product at the right reactant are starting with the substance in the chemical reaction while product are the substance formed as a result of the chemical reaction okay so for example here if we do have x mole of a react with y more of b produce stack more of c and w more of d so the total number of atoms of each element is the same on the both sides in a balanced equation okay let's say the number of x y and z and w show the relative number of molecule rating they are called stoichiometric coefficient okay x y z and w here is no on the left side is a rectangle right side is a product okay there are two methods how we are going to balance the chemical reaction we use inspection method and ion electron method so let's look at one by one inspection method first what we need to do we need to write down the unbalanced equation with the correct formula of the rectangle and the product after that balance metallic atom first followed by non-metallic atom then balance hydrogen and oxygen atom after that check to ensure that the total number of atoms of each element is the same on the both sides of the equation chemical equation by applying the inspection method ammonia react with copper to oxide produce copper nitrogen gas and water Okay, if we are look at here, we have need to balance metal. Okay, nitrogen, hydrogen, copper, oxygen. So metal, copper. Okay, if we are look at on the left side, we are only have one more of copper. While on the right side, we have one more of copper. So here we have one more copper. Here we are also have one more copper. So the copper atom is balanced okay now look at two non-metal atom okay except hydrogen and oxygen so non-metal atom here yeah, we have nitrogen we have one more nitrogen here we have two more nitrogen so what happened here on the left side we have one more nitrogen atom on the right side we have two more nitrogen atom so we need to time two nitrogen here. Okay, so now the non-metal atom have been balanced. What else? There are leftover oxygen and hydrogen. If you look at here, we have six more of hydrogen atom. What on the right side we have two more of hydrogen atom so six and two we put it here three now for oxygen we do have three more oxygen atom so here we are only have one more oxygen 
So what we need to do, we need to time 3. But now the copper is unbalanced. Therefore, we put 3 at the copper. Then now we rewrite the equation. 2 more of ammonia react with 3 more of copper to oxide produce 3 more copper solid plus 1 more nitrogen gas and 3 more water. So, now counter checks. It is either your, our balance equation have a balance. Here we have 2 nitrogen. Here we have 2 nitrogen. Here we have 3 copper. Here we have 3 copper. Here we have 6 hydrogen. Here we have 6 hydrogen. While oxygen here on the right side here we have 3. And the left side we have 3. So, therefore, the equation have been balanced. Okay. Ion electron method. Okay, ion electron method. Of course, when it is involved the ion electron method, of course, it is involved the reduction and oxidation reaction. Okay, for reduction and oxidation reaction, okay, it is involved uh, the process of reduction and oxidation. Okay, or we call as a redox reaction. So, for redox reaction, it may occur in acidic or basic solution. Okay. But, in order to help you how to balance the redox reaction, let me guide you systematically and you need to follow the step by step systematically in order to get, to make you easier to balance the equation. In acidic medium, this is a uh, step involved. Step one, uh, you need to separate two half equation. Okay, balance one at a time. Okay, and then after that, balance atom other than hydrogen and oxygen. It's as well as the uh, balance the normal equation. You need to balance metal. After that, non metal as of hydrogen and oxygen. Okay, what you need to do? Separate two half equation, balance metal and non-metal except hydrogen and oxygen after that step number three balance oxygen by adding water equivalent to number of oxygen on the opposite side while well then step number four balance hydrogen by adding h plus ion on the opposite side okay step number five calculate total charge on the both side then step number six add electron to any side as to equalize the charge on the both side Okay, step number seven, combine both half equation, redox, uh, reduction and oxidation. Then you will got the, your, the balance equation. Then after that, make sure you are double check. It is either the one that you have balanced is uh, our balance. Okay, and then this is the way how you are going to balance in basic medium. Okay, if you look at here, uh, we are still writing down the unbalanced equation. Uh, step number two, balance atom other than hydrogen and oxygen. Then, uh, of course, uh, in step one, write down the unbalanced equation. So, we wrote it down uh, what is uh, the one that uh, undergo reduction, the one that undergo oxidation. Okay. And then, we balance the atom metal and non-metal except hydrogen and oxygen after that you balance hydrogen and oxygen where you just follow step three and the step seven in the acidic medium after you have followed the step three and the step seven mean that you follow um the side that lack of the oxygen you add water the side that lack of the hydrogen you add hydrogen ion the step after that you balance the charge. Okay, after you have balanced all the atoms, you balance the charge. Okay, and then you add up both of the equation. Okay, and the equation become as an acidic medium. Why it is become acidic medium? Because of inside the equation, we have the H plus ion. Okay, and then for balancing basic uh, the equation in the basic medium. So, in order to make it in the acidic medium so 
OH minus is the source of the base. Okay, source of a base, while H plus is source of the acid. So, we add the OH minus ion, H mass as H plus ion in the redox equation. Then we combine the OH minus and H plus to form water molecule on the, on the side that has both ion while the other side remain the same. Okay, of course, um, it is quite hard for you to understand. Then let's look at to the example. Okay, for example, okay, now we have unbalanced redox equation. Okay, we have unbalanced redox equation where we have here one more of iron and one more of iron. We have one more of mangan. We have one more of mangan, but on the right side, on the left side, we have oxygen. On the right side, we don't have any oxygen. So, what you need to do first is you have to write the equation regarding to the uh, process. Okay, if you look at here, okay, iron 2 plus become as a iron 3 plus, why mangan become as a mangan 2 plus. Okay, if you look at to the oxidation number for iron, here is from positive 2, it changed to positive 3. Mean that the oxidation number increase. Okay, for mangan, how we are going to know the oxidation number of mangan in mang MnO4 minus mangan oxide. Ne? Okay, I show you how. Okay, we have Mn. O4 minus okay. okay the total charge here is negative 1 okay we know that okay we have mn okay we know that the oxygen having a charge is negative 2 but they are for oxygen so total charge here is equal to negative 1 Okay, therefore, mang charge for mangan is equal to negative 1 plus 8. So, it is equal to positive 8. Then, if you look at here, from positive 8, it changed to positive 2. The oxidation number decreased. So, the one that increase in oxidation number undergo oxidation and the one that Reduce in oxidation number undergo reduction. Okay. So, we have no which one is undergo oxidation, which undergo reduction. Okay. Okay. If we look at here, separate the equation into two half equation, reduction uh, reaction and oxidation reaction after that the this is as well as we discussed this now the oxidation is iron okay and then the reaction is mangan mangan O4 and mangan 2 plus okay what next what next is you need to balance okay what next is you need to balance uh, the half equation here at the oxidation at the reduction. Okay. So, if you look at two iron, iron balance the atom, one more iron here and one more of iron here. So, iron have been balanced. What about mangan? One more mangan here and one more mangan here. So, both of the mangan atom and iron atom on the both side, left and right, is the same. Okay, after that, you need to balance the atom other than oxygen and hydrogen each, each of the half reaction separately. Okay, if you look at two iron, okay, if you look at two iron here, we are only have iron atom. We don't have oxygen or hydrogen on the both side. So, we do not need to balance the oxygen and hydrogen in this case. But for mangan, for mangan oxide, 
Okay, we have oxygen on the left side, but we do not have any oxygen on the right side. So, if lack of the oxygen, we are at water. But how much water that we are going to add it up? Depend on number of oxygen atom on the left side. If we do have four oxygen atom here, so on the right side, we, you need four oxygen atom. Okay. But now, what happened next? On the left side, we don't have hydrogen. Okay, let us rewrite the equation. We have Mn O4 minus and then we are produce Mn 2 plus plus 4 H2O. So now, on the left side, we don't have any hydrogen. So, look at to the right side. Okay, we have 4 times 2, it is 8 hydrogen. So, lack of the hydrogen, we are at 8 hydrogen ion. So, let us double check. Mn on the left side is 1, on the right side 1. O on the left side 4, O on the right side 4. Hydrogen ion, on the left side we got 8, then Sorry, hydrogen, uh, hydrogen, on the left side we got 8 and the right side we get 8. Okay, then now if you had counter check here, all the oxygen and the hydrogen have been balanced. Okay, so add water to balance the oxygen atom, add hydrogen to balance the hydrogen atom. Okay, now what we need to do? We are going to add electron to balance the charge. Okay, let's look at to this one. Okay, here, charge is referred to 2 plus and then 3 plus. How to balance the charge? Here is the, the oxidation number is positive 2. Here is a positive 3. Okay, in order to balance the charge, we add electron. Okay, for your information, the electron have a negative charge so if we are at negative one on the right side it becomes as a positive one so it is possible to add one electron on the right side it make the total charge on the right side here is become as a total charge is positive three plus negative one so it is equal to positive two therefore on the right side the charge is positive 2 while on the left side the charge is positive 2 now the charge is balanced okay let's look at 2 mno for uh, the reduction equation for the reduction equation the charge at the mno4 is equal to negative 1 here is positive 8 here is positive 2 while for water charge is 0 so total charge on the left side is a positive 7 why total charge on the right side is a positive 2. So now, how, where we are going to add up the electron? Of course, we will add up the electron on the left side. Okay, because we are going to remove a sum number here to get the positive 2. So, a sum number here is referred to negative 5. Okay, now we are at 5 electron at the left side. Okay, if we look at to, uh, this equation, we are at 1 electron on the right side for oxidation. While for reduction, we are at 5 electron on the left side. Okay, but next we are going to multiply half equation by an integer. So that the number of electron loss in one half equation equal to the number gain in the other. Okay, in this case, okay, in this case, I need to time the oxidation equation by multiply by five. Why I need to multiply by five? Because of I'm going to cancel out the electron here. Okay, electron uh, originally at the oxidation only have 
one electron but the at the reduction process they are five electrons so i'm going to balance the electron i multiply all the equation for the oxidation with five therefore i've got oxidation five iron two plus we will produce five iron three plus plus five electron y reduction mn o4 minus plus 8 h plus plus 5 electron will be produced mn2 plus plus 4 h2o okay now look at here we have 5 electron here is another 5 electron one is on the left side sorry one is the on the left side and one another one is on the right side now we are going to add up these two equation so the one that uh on the opposite side okay the one that on the opposite side we can cancel out okay what else on the opposite side the same uh, element on the opposite side the one that and the odd at the opposite side we can cancel out then the one that they're the same side we are added out okay then we got overall equation so we have five more of iron two plus react with one more of mno4 minus plus eight more of h plus it produce 5 more iron 3 plus plus mn 2 plus plus 4 more water okay now counter check here we have um here we have 5 more iron 5 more iron here we have 1 more mn here we have 1 more mn why here we have four more oxygen here we have four more oxygen and then eight more what eight more hydrogen eight more hydrogen okay what about the charge charge here is a positive 10 here is negative one here is positive eight this one is a positive 15 this is positive two why this one is zero so total on the left side is positive 17 why total on the right side is also positive 70. Therefore, the equation that we have balanced is balanced. Okay, this is the one that we combined just now. Okay, if you look at here, 5 more, uh, 1 more, 8 more, 5 more, 1 more and 4 water. Okay, then we are uh, charged the total charge. Sorry, we are charged the total charge of the product. So, the 